Hey, Michael Chrysler here again, First Choice Power Washing. Uh, another video, explain a little bit more on setting up a pressure washing trailer or, or, or flatbed in this case. But we're gonna have a twist on this one. This is a brand new water filter for your inlet coming from your water tank into your pressure washer. This is brand new. Uh, I'm actually gonna give this one away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna share or like um, this post, I'm, this this post is going to be on Facebook. Uh, I'll post the video on there, and in the actual post, go down there and make a comment, like, or whatever. If you've liked it, shared it, or, or commented on it, I'm going to put your name in a hat, and we're going to draw your name, and we're going to give you the um, high flow water filter. This is for your inlet side. It's not a high pressure water filter coming out, but basically, uh, you know, you've got your hose just. This is, these are just small pieces so I can make it, this video a little easier. It's not the actual uh, hose that we're going to be using or anything. But, but basically you've got an inlet and outlet. There's an arrow on this so your water tank is going to be on the other side and the water is going to flow into your machine. I generally just uh, throw a hose barb on there. Um, is basically all you need unless you're actually directly up, up attaching to the pump uh, and then you would just have a fitting and you would twist it take this off and it would give you enough room to actually twist it and, and, and place it on uh, in order to do that but in case you just have to get this in a different place you're basically going to put your hose and your uh, barbs on either side one end is going to come from your water tank and the other end is going to go into your machine and this is going to help keep debris and whatnot out of your machine and in the case of i don't know say you have to uh disconnect this because you need to work on your pump i don't know if you can actually see the pump from here uh, i'm gonna change this angle here but if you had to work on your pump or something and you had to disconnect some of these things and now your water's uh you had to turn off the water and anything like that and you put this back on a lot of times you'll have an air bubble in the system somewhere and that's why I like my uh, uh, filter as close as I can to the pump and quite often actually mounted to the pump and I'll show you what that would actually look like if it was mounted to the pump. it'd be right about here but what happens is you get that water line in there and now you've got a vacuum and it's kind of hard to uh, um, for it to prime again and what, I what I'll do a lot of times is I'll just go ahead and open that up start letting that water come out of it and it lets that water flow gets rid of those air bubbles and then shut it off real quick and i'll have no problem priming the pump uh, and it'll draw from the tank uh, that much better so because you don't really want to be sucking air into the pump and cavitating your pump but that's how that works so uh, i'm going to post this uh, obviously it'll be on youtube but uh, i'm going to post this on the facebook group there uh, in the actual pressure washing resource association group and if you comment like or share um, on Christmas Day I'm going to draw one of your names and we're going to mail this to you uh, and this is courtesy of Pressure Tech P-R-E-S-S-U-R-E dot uh, T-E-K dot com uh, Bob over at Pressure Tech um, we're going to send you a water filter thanks